Verse 21, it says, but because that, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful. And that's a key word there because that, this is kind of like the heading that Paul is getting into or before he gets into the meat of what he's saying. This is the heading of how our culture first degrades. It's when they are not thankful to. So they don't know who God is, even though God has shown it to them. And then on top of that, they're not glorifying him and they're neither thankful to him. That is key right there to show that a culture is on the down is on the downtrend when they are when they are not willing to be grateful and thankful to god who has given them the wealth and the power and the and the ability to create such a, a magnificent place for them to live in namely america and it says but they be, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened so when you refuse to glorify god when you refuse to worship him and you're refusing to be thankful for him god will uh, you will become vain in your imagination. You'll, you'll, you'll have empty thinking. You won't know how to think straight. You won't know how to understand reality. And you'll just start to make up your own reality. And we're seeing that with postmodernism. postmodernism. People are saying that, you know, that's true for you, but it's not true for me. As if truth is something malleable to what we would like it to be. When that's the, that's the direct opposite, direct opposite of truth. Truth excludes anything that's erroneous truth is truth regardless of in, if, if we're in 1920 or in 1820 or 2020 it doesn't matter truth is always true and it stays true and that's a that's the very nature of truth it doesn't change and it doesn't change because we know god never changes and god is a god of truth jesus himself said i am the truth and because jesus is god god never changes truth never changes